Jalousias. What made you decide to just do blogging and give up teaching if you loved it so much? Were you skeptical about it at first? At which point did you decide that you could start making money off of just blogging? So some of you are new to Eat Your Kimchi and you've just started watching our videos and some of you have been watching us from the wee beginning. You feel sorry for you. Embarrassing, actually. Our old videos suck. They really suck. So this is a good chance for us to explain to people how we're blogging full time now and what we were doing before and how the heck we got to this point. Yes! So both of us are certified high school teachers in Canada and we came to Create to Be teachers as well. When we first came here though, we set up a blog to show our families what life is like in Korea because after all, they had no idea what it was like and they were worried about us. In fact, I'm sure a lot of you that are planning on coming to Korea are already experiencing these problems with your friends and family that are like, Don't go! North Korea attacks every day! There's no running water! You can't do stuff there! Ah, what's K-pop? So from day one we started our video blog just as a hobby for ourselves and for our families. But then something really weird happened. Very weird. People started to subscribe to our videos and we were both like... Why? Who, why would someone subscribe? We're so boring and nerdy. Oh, this person? I don't understand. Come to think of it, four and a half years later, we kind of still feel the same <laughs> way. Yeah. Why are you watching our why videos? Why are they watching our videos? We're so nerdy and I'm weird. Dorky. I don't understand. So a lot of you know that part of our history, but what a lot of people don't know is that during my two years as a teacher in Korea, I had a really rough time as a teacher. Mm. Mimer says a rough time also. I know. So then I thought that since our site is getting a bit more popular, what if I decide to work on the site full time for a year while Martina teaches for our third year? What you meant to say was, well, good <laughs> lord, depressed <laughs> memers don't ju memers no. Actually, what you meant to say was that I was your sugar mama for a year. It's you were pimping. Oh, buy me this t-shirt. I need some money. Oh, I'm hungry. Give me money for food. Let me stay at home in my pajamas and work on a website while my wife brings home the money. Does our website wasn't really making any money yeah. after two years and there was a potential for it and I saw the potential but like those mm -hmm. first few months after I started doing this full time really tough times. Yeah. So the big goal is really for us to be able to just work together mm -hmm. like if we're both teachers we're at separate schools but we love each other a lot and we want to be with each other all the time yeah. so why not have a job in which we could work with each other all the time. So this is really like our, our rookie group year. We only had one salary coming in which was my salary. We had to pay for half the rent since you weren't a teacher anymore. We were still paying off our student loans. We would run out of money by the end of the month because we had to pay our bills and we wouldn't have any like, food to eat. Guess what we're not eating for the last week of the month? Everything! Yeah, we, it was like our rookie group year. So much ramen. So much ramen. Ramen, ramen, ramen. So that was a really hard year for us. So by the end of Martina's third year of teaching, that's when we realized that yes, she could quit teaching. We could both live off the blog. Yes, it was going to be a lot more difficult because we'd be cutting her salary out as a teacher as well. But it's something that we could do. We'd tighten our belts and we'd get through it. And we wouldn't eat. And the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that it was a really stressful two years for us, really, because mm. it's kind of a risky thing to do, right? Like we're not on contract. We're not being paid monthly by someone. Like it's risky. Like if the videos flop, then we're not getting paid. Or what if people stop liking us and everyone unsubscribes and leaves? And, mm -hmm. and then we become ronery and then we're out on the street and spudgy has got a little homeless cup and we'll be really sad. So to clarify, we're not actually hired by any company. The Korean mm -hmm. government doesn't give us any money. No music industries give us any money. We are just like working off of like YouTube partnership and our own website ads. And also this is just the two of us. We don't have a PR team. We don't have a staff of cameramen and video editors. We don't have makeup artists we don't have stylists yeah. we don't have writers it's just the two of us we can make it if we try just, just the, the two, two of us, us you and I. I don't forget about me guys Spudgy uh, works hard also. Just the three, three of, of us. Numerous works a bit. Just, just the, the four, four of us. us. And when I decided to not return to my school for a fourth year, it was actually really, really hard for me. I cried and cried and cried and cried. And for the first like six or seven months, I For the first six say, months, you're like, I'm still a teacher. I'm not used to this yeah. blogging thing. She kept on talking about her students and I'm like, you don't have any more students. <laughs> students. <laughs> no, they're not. I didn't say that they were dead. I wasn't that mean. So the big question that everyone wants to know, how is it possible to make money from blogging? The answer to this is quite simple. Whenever you watch our videos on YouTube, you'll see like a pre-roll ad or an ad at the bottom or an ad on the side. Or if you visit our homepage, you'll see some ads on the side as well. We make money for those ads. The more people watch our videos and the more people visit our site, the more money we make. Except if you're one of those people that use ad blocks so that you don't see any ads, which means that we make no money whatsoever, which means every time you use ad blocks, when you visit our site or watch our videos, Spudgy goes hungry. Do you want Spudgy to be hungry? Is that what you want? 
out. Especially you, China, because <laughs> we know that you have some sites that download our videos and re-upload them, and we make no money off of that. Oh, China. Thank You're watching us. these videos for free at the small exchange of just watching ad at the beginning of the video. Can you say that in a more corporate voice? No. Now we're really appreciative of the fan support we get for people that buy our t-shirts because that t-shirt money just goes to us and they didn't have to buy those t-shirts. Like you could have just kept watching the videos That's for free. That's like direct support of us and our site. So yeah. we really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you very much. And if you guys can't afford the shirts, we don't want to put pressure on people. Mm. Just thank you for watching our videos in general because just by watching it, you're giving us support that way as well. And spudgy food. And memers worth pets and kisses. So so currently we're in the process of getting a business visa in Korea so we could set up Ichi Kimchi as a business and we're saving up money to apply for it because getting business visas is not cheap. And it takes a long time to apply and we couldn't do it from outside of Korea. So, so we've been working on this for a while. So what we're hoping to do is to be able to actually set up a business so that we could actually hire editors to help us out with the workload and we could maybe hire a videographer to help us out as well. That would be totally awesome. So that we could get more video segments after you because we have so many ideas of things that we want to do. We just don't have enough time. For those of you who edit videos, you know that it you is know. the biggest time vampire in the world. Yeah. So if we film one video like a wank, it can take us like eight hours to film mm -hmm. and then editing that can be like another six, eight to ten hours yeah depending on it and then exporting and uploading so it could take like a day and a half or two days for one video we literally do not have enough time in the day for like one video but we do it so that's a very long answer to this very complicated question i hope you have a better understanding of what we're doing now you can check out our blog post on our website for more details about it we just don't want to ramble on and on and on in for this like video. 30 minutes so that's it for this week's tldr if you have a question for next week's tldr leave your question in the comment section below or you can check out the questions that are already asked and you can thumbs them up in hopes that we will notice that question and choose it. And don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs and to not watch our videos with Adblock. Because it would make us really sad. And the spudgy very sad. And the memers worth really sad. Hey, Adblock. Fuck. <laughs>